In this moment, I feel very, very good, fresh, physically and mentally. To be fit all the time, to be in the top of the level, many, many years, you have to be consistent. So this is what I've tried to do. This is a picture of Cristiano Ronaldo's legs. The dude just keeps on looking better and more jacked as he ages. I just don't understand. What's going on everyone? It's Cecil Suede and in this video, I'm gonna be attempting Cristiano Ronaldo's insane diet and workout. Cristiano Ronaldo has the most optimal diet and training routine out there. I mean, the dude takes five naps a day. Who in the world does that? Probably explains as to why he is so incredibly successful in and off the pitch. I mean, look at the guy. Yeah, I think it's the five naps a day that's a secret to looking like Cristiano Ronaldo, but I do know that his diet and workout routine is extremely important. So his diet plan is gonna consist of six clean meals. I'm also gonna be attempting his leg routine for a day. So please wish me luck right now. Smash the like button on this YouTube video. If you wanna see more videos like this along with more football players for the Celebrity Day in the Diet video series. <laughs> Okay, forget the five naps a day. That is not the secret. I realize the secret to looking as good as Cristiano Ronaldo is fruit on top of toast with honey and European cheese. This thing is the holy grail of Cristiano Ronaldo's looks, right? I mean, it's gotta be. Okay, that's exactly what we got going on for meal number one. Quite a wild combination of foods. We have gluten-free bread with mixed fruit on top and honey on top of that. We have carbs on carbs on carbs, baby. Also, I have four whole eggs and then European cheese. I mean, his diet plan specifically calls for European cheese, so we're just gonna give this a try. I mean, this this has gotta be the secret, right? Tastes like cheese. So we're just gonna throw that on top of the eggs like that. No gains wasted. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and give this a try. This is what I'm very excited for. I mean, who doesn't enjoy carbs on carbs on carbs? Wow, that is unbelievably good. Okay, not only does that taste incredibly good, but that'll put me in a diabetic coma from all the carbs. So I've had type one diabetes the last 24 years of my life, guys. This is definitely not my kind of meal. However, what you could do to make this even better if you're trying to like focus on maybe like fat loss, gaining lean muscle, is to incorporate more egg whites for more protein, and then like two whole eggs mixed in there, and then you can have the toast or mixed fruit. Like choose one carb, one fat and protein source, and you're gonna be fine. You don't need carbs on carbs on carbs, and then proteins and fats. Cristiano Ronaldo is like a rare human being because he exercises so much and probably has a fast metabolism. I mean, look at the dude. Cheers. Mm. Oh my. Okay guys, so we've got ourselves an atrocious mess here. We have olive oil everywhere, but meal number two is going to consist of a can of sardines and bread. So it's gonna be a sardine sandwich. I think this might be the third or, I don't know, fourth secret now as to how to look as good as Cristiano Ronaldo. It's not the dieting, it's not the training, it's the fruit on top of bread with the honey, it's the European cheese, and it's sardine sandwiches, baby. I'm so scared. Look at this. I want you guys to let me know with the comment section down below. Do you enjoy sardines? And if you say yes, why? Look at this. Just look at this. How could you enjoy this? Okay, we've got the sardines, got the gluten free bread. I'm so scared right now. Woo! Hold on, hold on. He's never gonna kiss me again. <laughs> when are you gonna kiss me again? Wow. I can't believe somebody enjoys that, especially somebody who has access to literally anything they want. Hey, man, discipline, baby. Screw it. So it's been a while since meal number two and I swear my hands and breath still smell like sardines. But here we are for meal number three, which is gonna consist of ahi tuna steaks cooked in olive oil, along with protein pasta. So this is chickpea pasta. I have no idea if Cristiano Ronaldo eats protein pasta. I think it's just regular pasta. Holy crap, I said pasta a lot. But I always try giving you guys more food alternatives or more healthier food alternatives, obviously, as I'm mentioning in this video for you guys to try out yourselves. They'll definitely help you with your diet. So this is just chickpea pasta. Figured I'd like throw that in there rather than regular pasta. Let's go ahead and give this damn pasta. I try. Mmm, plain, but very good with some salt and pepper. Okay, moment of truth. Ahi tuna. Did I cook this right or did I botch it? Mmm, well, very good. Ahi tuna is very, very lean. If you're looking for more lean protein sources, give this a go as well. Always a good alternative or option when you're dieting. 
Anyways, this is going to be my pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and then head to the gym and take you all through one hell of an intense routine. Also, lots of bonus tips that's gonna help you in the gym with your fitness goals. <laughs> Hey, Dane. So, Asil Suede is doing legs today. So, we're going to be following Cristiano Ronaldo's insane leg workout. I just warmed up on the squats. We're going to do three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Follow along. <laughs> Guys, no matter how long you've been training, squats will always kick your ass. I'm sure Cristiano Ronaldo can agree with that. But we're doing reverse lunges next for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. And this time, we're not using dumbbells, we're using kettlebells. Here's a cool thing, you can do this at home if you don't have access to a gym, if you have kettlebells. are already on fire after that. You really don't need much for legs. With that being said, we're finishing off this leg workout with a super set. We're doing leg extension with seated leg curls for three sets of 15 reps. This is gonna kick your ass. Super set means that you just do one exercise right after the other and then rest 60 to 90 seconds when you're done with both. Guys, that is gonna wrap up Cristiano Ronaldo's leg workout. However, I wanna show you all a little bit of something that has helped me tremendously over the last few years of my fitness journey. I actually get six pack abs. I used to be somebody who never had abs. Like I seriously thought I could never achieve them, but I completely transformed my physique by doing this one simple ab exercise twice per week. Do it for three sets of 10 to 12 reps for like a year and I promise, look back, you're gonna get thick muscular abs as long as you diet obviously and lose body fat. Figure I'll show you all this. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up. It's a rope cable crunch. I literally love this. Do it for three sets of 10 to 12 reps, as I mentioned. And look, at the end of the day, we're not all trying to be extreme super athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo, and we're not trying to be bodybuilders. I do not by any means consider myself a bodybuilder. I'm literally just a type one diabetic guy trying to look better, feel good, feel confident, feel happy, no matter my conditions and circumstances. You can do it as well. Remember, if you need my help, by the way, for personal ab workouts, workout weight training routines, or cardio plans, make sure you check out my programs. Link in the box down below. I would love to personally help you out, create your own routine for your own schedule. But anyway, Anyways, that's gonna wrap things up. Let's go back to the kitchen and make some epic meals. Okay guys, so I am back from the gym and it is time for a proper post-workout meal and that is a protein shake for meal number four. So I have the vanilla ice cream flavored impact weight protein by my protein. By the way, check out their new bags, guys. So they completely like redesigned their formula and made it not only taste even better than it already tasted, the macros are improved a little bit as well. So there's 22 grams of protein. So they bumped up the protein, obviously super little to no carbs and two grams of fat, 120 calories per scoop. This is my go-to protein powder. I'm gonna leave this linked in your box down below and just check out their new rebranding. I feel like a lot of you guys don't know this about my protein. Literally legendary. I've been with this brand for five years. Super epic. So check it out. Link in the description box down below if you want to use this as well on a daily basis like I do. Use that discount code ASEAL VIP at checkout to get 40% off your order. Nobody does that. Like 40 freaking percent. So check that out. Take advantage of that code. Here's another tip by the way. When you're using delicious protein powder, also use almond milk rather than water. A lot of you guys have your protein shakes with water and whenever people see me doing this, they're like, you're having almond milk with protein powder? Or what? They're mind blown. Seriously, it tastes amazing and uh, makes it like a milkshake. Cheers to that. Literally vanilla ice cream. Amazing. So I'm about to whip up meal number five and I figured this would be the perfect time for a recipe walkthrough, AKA another episode of Cooking with Suede. So today for meal number five, 
we're gonna be cooking Cristiano Ronaldo's favorite Portuguese dish, which is going to be bacalaua bras. I probably murdered that. You guys are gonna kill me in the comment section down below, but just follow along here, okay? We have potatoes, we got onions, we got codfish, we have olive oil and some parsley. So this is going to be a little bit of improv here because honestly, we gotta shred these potatoes and we're just gonna chop them up. Just follow along the squid way. Chop up the potatoes. All right, after one hell of a form pup, we're gonna go ahead and chop up onions. More chopping. Whew, okay, I'm telling you, the arm pump is no joke. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and chop up cod this time, okay? So I got this cod fresh from the HEB down the street. Shout out to all you Texans out there. If you're from Texas, you know what HEB is. Literally the best grocery store in the entire world. Ooh, smells like booty hole. All right, go ahead and chop this sucker up. Gang. Next step is to pour some olive oil in a heated pan, cook the potatoes in the olive oil, add some salt and pepper, add onions to cook with the potatoes, throw in the cod with the cooked potatoes and onions, crack four eggs in a bowl, Stir up the eggs, add the eggs to the cooked onions, potatoes, and cod, and stir that around, baby. Now, we are almost done with this recipe walkthrough, so next up, we're gonna garnish this sucker with some parsley, just like so. Then we're gonna top it off with some black olives. And that, my friends, is bacalaua bras, cooking with suede style. So let's go ahead and give this sucker a try. I'm honestly so excited. It smells really, really good. Obviously, this is chef suede style, not exactly extremely professional, but it'll do for gains. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a go. Ooh, smells really good. Okay, we got a little bit of everything here. Cheers to the squad, the suede squad. Mmm, wow, that is really, really good. Highly approve of this, super, super good. Honestly, because it was a recipe walkthrough and because it was hashtag cooking with suede style. Cristiano Ronaldo, if you're in need of a private chef, hit my line, I got you, bro. Shout out to all the Portuguese watchers out there. Bacalao bras. let me know if I'm saying it right in the comment section down below. I'm gonna enjoy this for dinner. It's been a really fun full day of eating, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am right now. Okay guys, we are close to the finish line here. We're sitting down to meal number six, which is actually supposed to consist of chocolate cake. Now, I'm looking for gluten-free chocolate cake and I cannot find it anywhere, even at H-E-B, the greatest grocery store in the world. So we got gluten-free fudge brownies. It's like close enough, right? I have to eat gluten-free, by the way, because I have celiac disease. I know, type one diabetes and celiac disease. I'm a sicko, but get a deal with the cards you're dealt with in life and make the best out of it, right? So we also have a chocolate brownie scoop of protein powder with the impact way, of course. I figured chocolate brownie, fudge brownie, Gains. All right, I'm very excited for this. I mean, this very well might be better than meal number five. Meal number five was a freaking banger. So if you're wondering what chocolate cake Christina Ronaldo, are you serious? Look, guys, at the end of the day, you don't have to eat 100% clean, like especially to hit the calorie intake that somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo needs to. You need to eat a little bit dirty to make your life easier because eating 4,000 calories worth of super clean meals is literally almost impossible. I mean, you're gonna feel horrible. Cheers. Wow, freaking heaven in my mouth. Hold on, bros. Bro chocolate combo. Okay, listen up. There's wake and bake, there's shake and bake, and then there's cake and shake. <laughs> the bros version right there. What the hell is this for? for? I have no clue. Let's go ahead and figure out total macros and calories in Cristiano Ronaldo's insane diet and workout, which consisted of 3,633 calories coming from 318 grams of carbs, 153 grams of fat, and 252 grams of protein. That is a lot of food. I would figure he's eating a lot more carbs versus fats to reach his calorie intake for the day, but obviously don't copy Cristiano Ronaldo. Take these as meal ideas and run with them, especially with like the tips I try to share with you all in these videos. At the end of the day, if you're trying to make gains, look good, feel confident, happy about yourself. You just have to know your own calorie intake, your own macros you should be following in terms of maybe higher carbs, less fat, or higher fats, less carbs. Obviously higher protein for gains, bro. Figure all that out, get on the right workout plan, and you're gonna be just fine. Again, we're not super athletes here. We're not bodybuilders. We're just trying to look our absolute best and feel our absolute best as well. And remember, if I can do it as a type one diabetic, last 24 years of my life, you can do it too, I promise. If you enjoyed this video whatsoever, make sure you smash the like button right now. I do appreciate your support. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos every single week so you can see epic brownies like this on a weekly basis and more protein shakes, bro. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.